what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here talking about jeepers creepers reborn here in this video today so just to get something out of the way really quick if you are someone who who uh entered in to win anything from that competition if you won anything because i haven't seen anyone in my dms i was expecting a lot of people or at least someone to shout me out or come to me in a dm and say hey i won something from that competition but no one has done that if you happen to stumble across this video and you have won something from that competition let me know let us know share the fact that you won on instagram or any type of social media platform because it seems that while the competition has ended i haven't seen anyone that i interact with as being one of the contest winners which tells me that a lot of people entered into this contest more than i was expecting because i didn't even get an email so i know i didn't win anything <laughs> but going back into what i also want to talk about which would be regarding jaru benjamin who has confirmed his participation in the film at this point there is a new podcast episode that came out i'll leave a link to this podcast in the description if you want to listen to it where he talked about his involvement and how he got the role how he had to send in audition tapes how he was excited about the role, how he's a fan of Jeepers Creepers, how he had to spend like six hours or so on set getting the makeup on every day while he was filming Jeepers Creepers 4. And, you know, just basically confirming that, hey, I'm the new Creeper. Jonathan Breck is not going to be playing the Creeper as far as we still know. Because again, he could have some type of surprise cameo, which I don't really think is going to happen. But Jaru Benjamin has confirmed, yes, that he is the creeper. He did a new interview on this podcast where they had him on as a guest. He was talking about his career, just going over Jeepers Creepers Reborn and how that movie's coming out later this year. How he's been a fan of Jeepers Creepers, how he was excited when he realized what he was auditioning for, all that good buzz. So with that i also want to just go back to something that timo has stated there was a interview or a podcast timo recently did where he was taught he was questioned about if he knew if jonathan breck was not going to be involved when he got involved as director and his response to that was something along the lines of well we haven't actually announced who's going to be the creeper yet so he didn't want to speak about that the thing about that though is Jonathan Breck has already gone out of his way to say that, hey, I'm not doing this movie uh, at many conventions when asked about it. He's not doing the movie. Jaru Benjamin is also someone who more recently again on this podcast has just confirmed that he is going to be in the movie. A lot of listings for him show that he will be playing the creeper. So it's like if the studio and the producers don't want you to say so much, why do they have certain press releases coming out that are kind of detailing things that lead to conclusions being drawn and also you have things on online that are backing up what's already out there you have the actors actual talent agencies listing them in the roles so i mean it's kind of just like well i and i get he's not trying to be he's not trying to be rude or anything like that i don't want to come off like he's trying to be rude his whole thing here though is that he's in a very tough position considering all these factors that are outside his control he's not supposed to be saying anything but yet ja ru has already confirmed his role he's going to be the creeper jonathan breck is not going to be the creeper but then timo again when he gets asked these tough questions it's kind of just like uh, sometimes i feel kind of bad for him because he seems like he wants to talk about this movie so much but he can't because of whatever's going on between him and the producers since they want to be the ones that disclose everything we're not going to find out much about this movie in terms of what else we could be expecting outside of that 15 second teaser until they set a release date it's looking more and more like the fall release will be what we get along with australia if they don't end up changing their fall date uh, my bet my gut is hoping that this gets moved up to a summer release don't want to wait this long for this movie this movie has been done for over a year it was supposed to be out last year it's needing to be seen at this point it's needing to be uh critiqued <laughs> it's needing to be digested and it's needing to be evaluated so that we can see what worked what didn't work will we be excited to see the creepers new 23 day cycle continue or will we just continue to watch the first two movies and call it a day until we get a worthy entry at some point down the road which at this point i would say would be if not here it's gonna have to happen after the creator is no longer with us and someone else takes on the mantle if they decide to do that and try and decides to fully wipe the slate clean and maybe a major studio could do it as well like a blumhouse a24 you know just something outside of screen media 
Not saying that the distributor really has much to do with the quality of the movie that you get, but I think Screen Media just has a stigma around it from people who watch Screen Media films and they see the type of quality that they get. So then they think, oh, well, this is what Screen Media is known for. But Screen Media has some, they have some gems under there, but I have to give them that. So maybe Jeepers Creepers 4 will be a gem. Uh, but again, yeah, Jaru went on a podcast. He confirmed that he's the creeper. So this is just one of the more frustrating things I have when it comes to this movie. There's stuff that's out there that when you talk to the, those involved about it, they have to essentially unintentionally gaslight you or play dumb about it. And in a lot of ways, I get it. But at the same time, I've never seen a production that has this type of grip on it to the point where stuff that's out there really doesn't make sense with what you as those involved tell us because if details about the cast are being put out to the public and their roles are being confirmed to the public from press releases why can't anyone involved with the movie such as the director even say that yes this man is playing the creeper or no this character this actress is playing this character or vice versa it's just very bizarre I've never seen a movie handled like this before. Maybe I'm just new to movies being handled in this type of sloppy fashion. But uh, maybe, maybe you're not. New, maybe you're not familiar with movies being handled like this either. It's just very bizarre to have your director in a position where he can't talk about much when he seems like he wants to a lot. And I, I, the only thing that I really think makes me believe he wants to talk about this so much is the fact that he journaled this whole experience. He seems to be very excited for this movie and excited for us to see this. But then he gets put in these positions where he kind of just looks like he doesn't know what he's doing or more so like he's just out of the loop because of the fact that we clearly know you know things but you're being told not to share stuff you have to play dumb it's it's more so best that you don't even interact with us until you can actually talk i guess because this is ridiculous but yeah jaru benjamin confirmed that he is the creeper and again if you want something from that competition reach out to me or let us know down in the comment section below because i haven't heard anything from anyone if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.